My name is Mike Albro. I've been at Fermilab 25 years. Before that, I was working at CERN. We were looking at CERN for the top quark. We didn't find it at CERN, and uh, eventually they closed down the CERN collider. So in 91, I came over to, to, to Fermilab and uh, joined CDF, and there was a lot of activity looking for the top quark in different ways that it could decay. And there were some ways in which the signal was expected to be strong compared with the background. I decided with a colleague, Andrea Castro, to look at a way was different. It was not expected to be as clear a signal. And actually, we saw some indications of it. But then around March 94, things started heating up and the CDF got gathered together a sort of summary of all these studies and it made a 170 page document, which was really thick. And some of us decided that we ought to make a, a very brief version of this. I went to Chicago with two or three others and we spent a day there taking this 170 page document and literally cutting with scissors and pasting together, and making a cut and paste version short enough to be a, a, a letters paper. It was a very fun day. And about two, two weeks later, we had a collaboration meeting in the auditorium. Evidence was presented and there was lots of questions, lots of discussions. And eventually the spokespeople said, any more objections or do we, can we go out with this public? And there was dead silence for about 10 seconds and then there was applause, <laughs> we'd got it. Now that was the evidence paper. It was not yet the discovery because the standard of that is really strong. But we, we made a t-shirt, a sweatshirt here, which I'm, I'm wearing here, about evidence for the top cork. We put in here the mass that we thought, 174 GeV. It's turned out to be very close. We now think it's like 173 GeV. That was great. That was very exciting. We had champagne at Alvin Tollestrup's house that evening. And then this paper was sent out and published. But it was only the following year in 95 that um, with more data, better analysis, D0 coming up, both experiments now got to the standard of discovery of five standard deviations, we call it. And papers were written by both and uh, approved and submitted on the same day to a journal. So it happened that way simultaneously with CDF and D0. That was it. That was the discovery of the top quark in, in 95. That was a very exciting thing.